everyone, I'm back with my squishy. <laughs> He's so cute, or she, or doesn't he remind you of Mr. T? Look, he has the mohawk. Anyway, <laughs> that's not why I'm here. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys. Um, I know I have some new subbies, so welcome you guys, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying my channel. Um, I had a question about what scissors do I use to fussy cut, um, and the answer is this one right here. I love these pair of scissors. They're by EK Tools. Um, they are called Cutter Bees, and a lot of the times they're yellow and black, the handles. This one I had gotten... I think I got this from Michaels, if I'm not mistaken, and I used a coupon. But these are the scissors, and I love them because, for one thing, they're super light. They're not huge. Like, I like these scissors right here, my Tim Holtz scissors, just because um, they cut, like, thick material. They're sturdy. Now, this stuff is sturdy. Um, it'll cut just about anything. But um, the handles are bigger, and... Um, it is harder to fussy cut with this one, I feel. Just because I think of the big size and it's a little bit heavier. Um, I feel like this is the most comfortable for my fingers because um, they're light and they fit my fingers. So it just depends on your preference and what's comfortable for you. But I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick little tutorial on how I fussy cut. Because not everybody knows how to like fussy cut. I mean, there's no rule or anything for fussy cutting. Um, you can leave a border, you can, you know, a white border like I did here with all these or not. It just depends on how cleanly you want it cut. Um, with floral uh, clusters like these, sometimes it's hard not to have a border just because you are going to get a lot of white in between the petals and the um, the leaves. And so a lot of the times, not like I fussy cut a whole lot, but a lot of the times if I do fussy cut, um, I will leave a border. Like this one's a really good one to do. Um, it's pretty easy and I leave about maybe an eighth or even less uh, of, of a white border. So I thought I'd go ahead and show with you guys how I do that. So here I've already um, printed this digital uh, flower here with leaves. Uh, this is the reason I was printing out these florals was because I'm I'm actually experimenting with the paper that I want to use for digital um, for digital images, and um, I decided to finally get the Nina Exact index cardstock I think it's called um, I got the 110 pound um, paper uh, I've known about that paper for a while it's just that I didn't think it was gonna work for my printer because my HP printer um, does not take really thick paper and it's it's more it's a photo what is it called HP photo smart I don't know it's really designed for photos and um, I thought the Nina paper was not gonna fit because it's 110 pound, but I was reading on Amazon. It's kind of a long story, but anyway, it does fit, <laughs> just to let you know, because it's not as thick as, as we think it is. So, but that's another video there. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and cut this and I'm just gonna share with you. Let me just move this aside so you can kind of see with a nice background, clear background there, what I'm doing. So when I fussy cut this, I just keep in mind that I'm leaving about that much of a border. Okay, right there. And so what I do is, I just go along um, the image. See, like right there, I kind of messed up there. I didn't even 
leave that much of a border and that's okay I don't it's not a big deal to me but this is how I fussy cut just to let you know and these scissors are great for that like I said they're super light and when you're fussy cutting you're not so much moving your scissors going this way and this way so much it's more you're moving your paper you're like especially when you're rounding the corner it's more the paper that you are manipulating here it's the paper that you're kind of um, swiveling swiveling <laughs> I mean you can fussy cut this any which way you want you don't have to like cut all the way in if you don't want to it just depends on the look you're going for if you want all that you know white border on there if you want a lot of white like right here you know if you wanted to cut a little bit more you can you can just go back to it but I just thought since I was playing with my digital images why not just do a little video because I know there's a lot of newbie crafters out there and um, you know you guys kind of want to know you have questions and I welcome that on my channel you guys you can ask me anything and I do try to respond um, as quickly as I can um, I can't always respond that quick but as much as possible and I, I miss a question or two here and there um, I, I try not to but if I don't answer your question just you know um, go ahead and ask me again because I probably just you know missed it or something or I forgot to answer it but I welcome questions you guys um, because you know, I want to be as helpful um, to you. So I hope um, this is going to be helpful to you guys. And I am in frame, right? <laughs> Sometimes I'm not in frame. So that's what I do. I just, you know, this one's an, believe me, <laughs> I mean, it's not going to, I was going to say this one's an easy one to cut. <laughs> Um, just because it's not as intricate like as this one right here I think see how here I just kind of rounded it over here because I did not want to go through um, and scallop all those little petals <laughs> um, it just depends on you if you're cutting out a bunch of these then you know and we don't all have the Cricut machine or the Silhouette Cameo, um, you know, because they are expensive. I have a Cricut, you guys, but I have an old Cricut. In fact, it's a Cricut cake. I've been meaning to update, but until now, I still haven't just because I don't, ugh, I'm so indecisive as to what machine. Um, I was gonna get the Cricut, Cricut Maker, but the more I think about it, I think it's like too big a machine for me. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really going to use it to its full potential if I get that one. And it, it is very pricey at this point. So I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe just getting a, a Cricut Explorer Air 2. Um, just because, I don't know. I just... I don't know, I'm a little intimidated with the Cricut Maker, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not like, I'm still indecisive. Anyway, see, see how pretty it comes out? So, and I find it kind of stress relieving actually when I'm fussy cutting. Um, but again, you know, sometimes my fingers hurt so I can't always fussy cut. But yeah, that's how you fussy cut flowers. Um, of course, you know, like, other things are easy to fussy cut um, but these are probably the hardest when you're doing florals and um, and these are the scissors to use I like this so I hope that answers some of your questions 
and I hope you find this helpful. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I decided I really didn't like that rounded look right here. So um, I went back with my scissors and I decided to just scallop that, those petals. And like I said, there's no rule to fussy cutting. I mean, it's however you want it to look. But um, I'm just showing you my process, like how I cut. I fussy cut. So I think that looks a little bit better. I could have done a better job, but um, <laughs> yeah. Like, I think I will actually go in here a little bit. It just depends on you, like I said, how much of that white you want to cut. And if you want to cut like really close, then you can. Um, it's up to you. But sometimes when you get die cuts, it, it's not even cut like that close to the image. You, you, you sometimes do get the border. Okay, so that is it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.